Now let me show you how to do dimensional math with your heavy calc. You put in a dimension pretty much the way you say it. 147 feet, 7 inches, and any fraction down to 64 is just the way you write it. 7 slash 8. Now you're not locked into that format. You can combine formats if you prefer to work in tenths. Let's go 25.5 feet uh, plus 32.25 inches, maybe plus 3 yards minus 2 meters. When I hit the equal key, it comes back in the format we started with. But with the press of the convert key, I can see that in tenths and hundredths, back to feet inch fractions, inches and fractions, inches and tenths, same thing with meters or yards. And I can do these kind of conversions with linear, square, or cubic values. I can divide this and manipulate this number, say divide this by three for equal spacing, or maybe divide it by three for equal spacing. There you go. Um, and you can also subtract, and multiply, and combine these in any other kind of calculation. Uh, multiplying this times Another dimension will give me the square footage times, say, 5 inches would give me cubic yardage. You can also directly enter cubic yards. For example, 10 linear yards, square yards, cubic yards. You enter it directly that way for square or cubic values. And you can also convert uh, cubic volumes to weight. For example, convert to tons, 15 tons, using the default factor of 1.5 tons per cubic yard. So that's a quick overview on the dimensional math and conversion functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.